Greetings once again, Eternal Warriors. Diz, Diz, Din, back again with Unicorn Warriors Eternal. Previously, as Melinda had unleashed the Kraken in order to escape the evil's trap, the Kraken ended up rampaging in London. And when Melinda tried to send it back whence it came, she was knocked the F out so hard her mind was sent back to the past, meeting a young Melinda when she was, what, but a wee babe, well, a child. And Melinda sought a way to help Emma get back to the present, well, their present. Entering her father Merlin's, yes, the child of Merlin, study, using one of his powerful timey-wimey crystals. Naturally, a younger-looking Merlin than what we saw in the first episode, came in and berated Melinda, but also noted that Emma was there and not there. She was not sent back into the past, but her consciousness was. But before things could proceed any further, enter Melinda's mother, Morgan. And she's just called Morgan, but it's, it's definitely Morgan Le Fay. The black hair, the green clothes, the thirst for magical power, like, come on. But, as it turns out, Merlin had been keeping the fact that Melinda had great magical power away from her mother, and the moment Morgan found out about it, she immediately tried to take it from her daughter. As Melinda fought back against this, there was some kind of feedback of power that distorted and twisted Morgan into the evil that the Unicorn Warriors would come to fight, and for some reason, despite the fact that it's not as though Melinda would know how to control her abilities, Merlin blamed her, which goes to show why he seemed a little bit colder to Melinda in the first episode, despite being her father. I knew Merlin was going to be a jerk, but that wasn't quite the jerk I thought he was going to end up being. Melinda then finds herself waking back up, joining the rest of the Unicorn Warriors in the fight against the Kraken. During the fight, Copernicus is shattered, which sends Melinda into a rage, unleashing her power and turning the Kraken into oh so much calamari. The question now is, how do we restore Copernicus? What time period did he even come from? And the only person who had the p would have the power to get them to that time period would be Melinda, who can't control her ability. Also, Winston went on a journey to a ship, got bit by a werewolf, and became a werewolf. The heck? What's gonna happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? Copernicus, no! Oh, why would you show that to me again? The poor baby. Jeez. This is gonna clean all that up. The mystery of secrets. Yeah, how's the police chief gonna explain this away? Nothing to see here. <laughs> no? Yes? Uh, oh, uh, having a tough time, Inspector? Uh, who's this? Oh, oh, wait, a lady mayor? In this time? Really? Huh. Uh, the mayor smelt something fishy. Oof. Yeah, I can't blame her for being mad. That is a lot of property damage. A whale! It's a whale! Hastings, buddy! God, just look at those eyes! Ugh! I wouldn't even want to touch any of that. <laughs> Uh-oh! A crusty old sailor man! Uh, water demon. <laughs> See, I'm glad the mayor's just like, Look, Hastings, buddy, at this point, I'm taking any explanation. A fox lady. Ah. <laughs> That's funny, this was actually Melinda's fault and he thinks it was the fox lady who did it, nice. So, <laughs> he followed the fox. See, there you go, the mayor's just like, look, buddy, I don't know why you're being so in denial about this, but I'll take anything at this point. I can see why she's mayor. Oh, don't trust them. Otto, he. Wait, who's in command of these robot people? Okay, so the timeline has been manipulated. I have been wondering about all the steampunk stuff. Huh, huh, wait. Oh, this was a trap? Wait, who was that? He, <laughs> look, did you know about me and my mother? Of course I knew. You told me about it, right? It's like, Endred, buddy, Endred, stop digging that hole. Go into the future. I see how to do it. How do you go into the future? How are you going to go to the future? How is his mind in the future? How is he doing it, though? Huh. Oh, the time stream? Yeah, sea of time. Oh. Uh should you should you be messing with that oh boy he's gonna jump in okay huh so is he projecting his consciousness uh-oh he ended up in primal 
<laughs> no, I- oh, no, they could see him. Weird. Yeah, definitely not the future. Oh, unless time is a circle. And you went so far forward, you ended up in the past. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, I thought we were gonna find out something in that timeline. Okay, who set them upon the fox, though? Oh, God. These freaking stooges. The rest of them are sneaking around, and he's just, like, gonna go up to the door. <laughs> Evening, Foxy. Oh, where were you keeping that? Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to explain what they got beaten up by if you don't believe in the fox lady. Dang, cool. Man, what a badass. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you finally believe Hastings. I I'm not gonna lie, I, I fully expected him to deny it. Yeah, why were you betrayed though? Are there multiple agents of the evil? Cause she's in league with the people with the robots, right? Is the person who invented the robots now turning on her? Is it one of those, you fail too many times situation? Oh, Otto. I don't know. <laughs> Makes me think of the Wizard of Oz. Oh, is that a pacemaker? Jeez. Oh, jeez. Huh. <laughs> I figured, I'm glad he was honest. It's like, yeah, I have no clue how to fix this. Uh, not much luck on your side either, huh, Sang? Seriously, where has he been ending up? Wait, why does he keep ending up here? Or is this kind of like a... Uh... No, he needs to look around. He keeps being sent to that particular time. Uh, you're about to lie about knowing how to fix him, huh? Let me guess. Otto. Yep, don't trust it. Do not trust it. Dashwood. Oh, he's Dashwood. Huh. Seriously, they don't know enough about Copernicus. God. Endred, buddy. I'm really trying to like you, Endred, but... You're making me kind of hard. Like, Entrid is honestly, at this point, my least favorite character in this series. Saying, buddy, look around. Ah, oh, come on, man. Stop being so stubborn and look. There has to be a reason to get sent here. Are we about to... Yeah, some kind of town in the sky. Almost. Ah. <sighs> Andred, take that out, buddy. You say you know how to help her, but I don't think you do. What's that? Who the heck is that? Follow them. Yeah. Oh, are those elves? Wait, is that Merlin? Huh. Yeah, jeez. That should not exist in this time. Cool, though. Jeez. Something must have happened that this person has this kind of technology. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like you're gonna be blasting your way out of here in an episode or two. Is this Dexter? It's Dexter. Dexter. Oh, <laughs> don't know if I can fix him. Huh? I appreciate the honesty. Huh. Is he just interested in how this one works? Yeah, something you haven't invented yet. Okay. Okay, so I'm so confused. I figured Otto was in league with the evil, but then again, Copernicus. If he was created by Otto, how did Merlin get a hold of him? I'm confused. Why did the robots attack him? What's the deal with the fox person? I thought she was in league with Otto. And it's obvious that Otto paid off that seaman. Huh, <laughs> seaman. Uh, Melinda. <sighs> I get the feeling she's gonna stumble upon something she shouldn't. Death. How, how do you know she's dead? Ah, uh, Melinda. <laughs> did, did she repair him? Okay, but what powered Copernicus? See, that was a question I had for a long time. Something, something about how Copernicus was just operating for years, decades, centuries. Like, machinery shouldn't just be like that. Even in a fantasy world, he would have shut down at some point. Oh, oh, oh jeez. And how did she get all the way up here? Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, cool. Like, how does the fox have this much power? What is their connection to the evil? This is pretty badass. Huh, a spell? Oh, D did he destroy her? It can't be that simple. Are you sure? Secret. What secret? To end its home? Wait, what? The blood to remake will flow for all time. What? What does that mean? <sighs> The blood to remake will flow for all time. And that better not be the end of the fox lady. That just, it can't be that anticlimactic. June Wei? Okay, so the mayor is Agatha, and the fox lady is June Wei. 
Huh. I don't understand. I'm still so lost. I don't get how the fox is connected to the evil. Because the evil just seemed to be this amorphous entity. I mean, if it was Morgan Le Fay at one point, it didn't seem like it was Morgan Le Fay after that. Has it taken on a new guise? Has it just possessed June? And why was June seemingly working with Otto? Why did Otto betray her? How far in the future does Copernicus come from? Why did those robots attack Copernicus? If they're of the same creator. How did they even know where to find Copernicus? Is Otto aligned with the evil? Or did June just take over those robots? I'm still so lost. And what is it that powers Copernicus? I knew it couldn't be any ordinary power source, but I wasn't sure if this was going to be plot relevant, but I guess it is. And how does it connect to Endrin? Maybe next episode is what's going to be needed to really endear me to Endrin. Huh. Well, let me know your thoughts in the com comment section below. I mean, why would Endred withhold the information? Maybe just because he couldn't quite remember? Because his memories are hazy, I know that. He remembers certain things like how he and Melinda got the sword, but not how to fix Copernicus. Maybe not fully. Or maybe it's something he'd rather not do. But yeah, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. That way you don't miss out on more Unicorn Warriors Eternal. And in until then, I've been Dee's Visden. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.